and the flights were anything but slow at the Fort Wayne Air Show this weekend. The Thunderbirds are getting ready to fly to Fort Wayne tomorrow. They were in town to put on a show for thousands of people of all ages. Fox 55's Jed Tilneal has more. Fort Wayne's air show celebrates aviation, honors the military, and most importantly, is trying to increase awareness of the need of people working in the sky. And the number one thing we want to do, like I said, we're grateful to the community. We hire 100 to 150 people a year into the Air National Guard out here. So we want to bring them out and show them what we do. We show them the airplanes we fly. And at the same time, we have jobs hoping to come out. You get excited, you watch our airplanes. We'll hire you to come out and learn to fly or learn to fly or, or work on those aircrafts with great benefits to boot. The Air Force of the A-9 versus the A-10. You've got World War II aircrafts. You can see fly, top-line civilian performers, and the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds, just to name a few. This year's theme is STEM, which Noel and many involved in the show say is a huge part of what they do. Those are the basic components of, of what we think about, what we process, what we learn when it comes to flying. Heights might not be everyone's thing, but one performer says his performance might change your mind. Many people worried about airplanes flying. If any little thing happens, they're going to crash, they think. That's not true. I, I lose a major flight control that makes the airplane turn on purpose to show that there's another one that makes it fly just fine. And uh, I was an A320 captain for Northwest Airlines, and I, when people were worried about flying, I'd walk up the jetway and I'd show them videos of what I do with the airplane. I said I can do the same thing with an A320. This is the first Fort Wayne air show in three years. In Fort Wayne, Gentil Nil Foss, 55 News.